hi guys welcome to another video today's video we are trying out the new one size bb cream i picked it up along with the primer the one size secure the blur primer so we're trying this out today if you want to see how i got this look what i think about this look all that good stuff make sure you keep on watching because it's gonna be good don't forget to like comment and subscribe Bye guys. Hi guys. Welcome to another video. Today's video we are going to be trying the new Patrick Star BB cream and I picked up another item from there. It just came. So I said why not go ahead and sit down and do a video. I was in here trying to glue a wig on with a lace glue for the first time. So I wasn't really doing anything. So it came in a white box. And it has the packaging on it. I ordered it from the website versus Sephora. They offered a 15% discount on it. So I ordered it from the website. Let's do the primer first. It's called Sec Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. Looks like this. And it is 1.2 fluid ounce. Looks like this. Yeah, I know I love me some primers too, but I usually stick to what I knew. An ultra blurring, pore refining primer with niacinamide that mattifies and evens out skin texture as it grips makeup for flawless application and, and enhanced wear. So let's try this first. I said since I was going to get the, and it's a little dropper. I said since I was going to get the, uh, BB cream why not just get the primer I could try it out together this is a silicone texture no smell I, I was expecting it to be more lotion like versus silicone it feels smooth. This isn't anything new, y'all. So I know y'all probably have heard of it before or have it. <laughs> Let's see. It feels good. It feels really good. It feels good. It's matte. I can tell my skin is matte, but it's not tight. And I don't feel dry. Okay, so far so good. But you all know I'm going to use my matte paint pot and painterly. <laughs> We're going to still do our normal routine. Nah, just because we got some new products, don't mean we're going to not do this part. Hmm. That's a pretty primer. I can see wearing that primer alone with no makeup or anything, just a primer. Okay. We're starting off good. Let's see about this Secure the Blur. What is this called? Turn up the base BB cream, Be Beauty Blur Balm Cream. And I got the shade Dark 2, which is dark golden. So let's see. This came out sometime, I want to say either this week or last week. I don't know. So it looks like it comes in 18 shades. Um, turn up the base, a triple threat against texture. The breathable. The breathable, buildable, and bouncy formula improves the appearance of skin texture with all-day hydration and comfortable all-day wear. Blur skin texture balances oils and boosts hydration. Okay. 
Skin mimicking technology uses skin-like treated pigments to morph into your skin texture for an undetectable finish. Avocado and Mango Hydrate Blend helps boost hydration for smooth skin texture. Comfortable wear like a, sec like a second skin. It looks like real skin. That's what it says. Let's see if I can show y'all my person. What did I get? Don't get to. <clears throat> so online, I hope you can see. This is how my person looks for my skin tone. Isn't she pretty? She is absolutely beautiful. But let's see. Hopefully, the shade works. I'm just talking away. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like this. Shake it up. How many ounces? I told y'all how many ounces it was. One fluid ounce standard. Uh, you don't pop the top on this. Click it. And that's how it's going to come out. So, let's see. Let me wipe if I have some concealer on my hand. Wipe that off. So, let's see, y'all. Let's see. First, I'm going to have to... Take the little stopper off first, though. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna click it, and we're gonna drop it out. We'll do two lines. This is looking. That's looking kind of warm for me. I don't know. We'll see. It's thick. But I still feel it, feel it running down my hand, so it's not that thick. And I have one of my brushes, y'all know from Shop Miss A, dense brush. Let's get. Mm, I'm a spot do it. I'm gonna do it like that. Let's just do one side first, y'all. This is look. It feels moussey. Hold on, close enough, and y'all can see. And I did the shade match on their website. And this is the shade it matched me to. Mm. The coverage is there, if you can see. The coverage is definitely there with just, that wasn't even a pump, but the coverage is there. But it is a BB cream, so I guess it kind of like, you know, BB creams don't offer a lot of shades when you're doing a BB cream. What y'all thinking? I need some more of those little stripes. You don't need a lot. Well, I wouldn't say you need a lot. I just didn't get enough this time. I like this little dropper thing. Oh, dispenser. I got a little mark right here, so let's see what it do. If it can blur that. Oh, 
it feels lightweight. I don't feel like anything is on my skin. It doesn't feel like a BB cream because you know BB creams tend to be really greasy to me. But this is not looking really greasy at all. It's looking very natural. Very natural. Sticking with the Turn Up Base uh, product, since I have Dark Golden 3 in the concealer, I'm going to just use that to highlight. I can't remember because I haven't picked this up, but I can't remember quite if this was a highlight shade for me or I felt like I needed to go a little bit brighter. No, that's a highlight shade, so we're good. I love Patrick and his personality. You know how you can just listen to someone talk and, and you just realize that they're genuinely a good person? That's what he puts me in the mind of, just being like a really good person inside and out. He's a good person. So I'll support him. <laughs> I don't know him, but I'll support him. Be extra today. Put it down my nose. And let's use our Morphe stick, y'all. Still waiting on my Sephora order with my new contour product that I gotta show with you guys. Mm. <laughs> And let me blend this concealer out because I can't really remember if it dries fast or not. This is just a Cara Beauty sponge. Yeah, this concealer dries kind of, kind of fast. But still pretty, so pretty. Okay, I have the one size powder in translucent to set this concealer. I love this um, powder also. I want to try there, and I don't know why they ordered it. I should have ordered it. I want to try the setting spray I didn't think about that to just now oh, I didn't order it but this powder is so finely milled it like melts into your skin I'm looking ghostly right now, but it'll be okay. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I'm, as you can see, I put bronzer right here. I try to bronze my nose and put bronzer right there, but I got to do something with these eyes, and I'll be back. 
Okay guys, I am back. I completed my eyes. If you looked at the video before this one, then you'll know what look I was trying to go for and tell me why I was able to do it not even thinking about it versus the last video where I couldn't seem to get it right at all. But this is what I wanted. <laughs> this is absolutely the look I wanted. I'm going to show you whose channel I looked at to give me like a technique to where I could cut the crease. This is my first time since I've been doing makeup that I feel like I have cut my crease right and it was easy. So I'm going to use the one size dark wine powder to set the remainder of my face. And I'm going to go really, really light because this powder, even though this is a BB cream, I feel like it gave me enough coverage. I'm comfortable with this coverage. I don't want to add more coverage on top of it. So very lightly, I'm just going to dust away the setting powder and set it. I was doing my eyes and I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to get it. I'm going to take my time. This, while I wasn't on camera, this took probably like 20 minutes. Yeah, like 20 minutes for me to do the eye look. And this is the eye look I was going for. Now ask me where I'm going that I was dying to do this eye look. I'm going absolutely nowhere. But I wasn't going to rest until I did this look. Okay. So that is on. I'm going to take and I do the black coffee by Black Radiance to set my contour with. Can I never find a brush? You with me? And I just ordered some more brushes from Amazon, even though I know I didn't need any more brushes. But um, here. I'm a sucker for blush, um, brushes. I just am. Oh, let me show y'all the palette that I actually used to do the look because it wasn't the palette that I used in the video before this one. Let me just bounce my foot with it. The heck of it. And date night blush, y'all know, same brush too. I, mean, I wonder when I became so fascinated with blush. Y'all know I used to never wear blush, and now. I put on blush every time. Y'all see me, I'm putting on blush, huh? For lipstick, I use two Juvia's Place lip uh, sticks. Cocoa to line my lips. And Lady to fill them in. And I use my L'Oreal Gloss, y'all know, in Centennial Blossom. Now let's set this with the Luminous Morphe setting spray. I'm gonna go curl my hair and if I can get my hair the way I envision, we have had a perfect day. So let me go do that and I'll be back. And y'all see my microphone that my son brought me? I wonder how I sound, do I sound better? I don't even have to talk as loud as I used to have to talk. So, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. This is the completed look, and we did an excellent job. I must say I already love this BB cream. It's not your old-fashioned BB cream, you know, like back in the day. I feel like this is new and improved. It looks like a foundation without really looking like a foundation, if that makes sense to you. It's very lightweight on my skin. I don't feel anything, but it offers a lot of coverage. You know, BB creams usually, let me move up some. BB creams usually didn't offer a lot of coverage, but this offers coverage. The primer, I think I found a new primer, y'all. It's not too matte. Like, I didn't care for that Becca Ever Matte Primer that 
but everyone liked because I felt like it was too, too matte for me. But this right here was just matte enough. And the, the primer and the BB cream does exactly what it says it does. It blurs any imperfection. As you can see, my skin is looking rather good. I am just so, so impressed. I already had the concealer and the um, pressed powder, so that was nothing new for me. So, yeah, I already enjoyed those. But these two, you need to pick it up. If you're Ollie Combo, you need to pick it up. I can even see, like, dry skin um, people wear it. Because I feel like it's matte. But it's not, like, a really bad matte or uncomfortable matte. So, I can see someone with dry skin using this also. And their shade match on their website was correct. Because it told me I needed this shade. I got this shade. This is my shade. So, I'm happy. I don't have to send anything back. Uh, for the eyeshadow, before I forget, I used the Extra Toppings palette from ColourPop. And this is all I used to get this look right here, the look I was trying to get in my previous video. This is an old wig that, like I said in the beginning, I was sitting here playing with it. I ordered this glue probably like four or five months ago for my first wig, lace glue, and I wanted to give it a try. This was my first time trying lace glue, and I think I did okay. I'm going to see how long I can keep it on because I know me. I'm just, whoo. <laughs> I think this glue was like $30, but I feel like I did a good job. I wanted it off my face because, y'all know, I don't like stuff in my face. But I wanted it off my face, and I just wanted it to be, like, really soft and bouncy and flowy. I left it in the bathroom, but I would use the thermal brush to get these curls no curling iron or anything so I just use the thermal brush to like get these little wavy curls or whatever so yeah and I can't even remember where this wig comes from but that's how old it is but yeah this is just my look so if you enjoyed today's video I really did enjoy doing today's video so if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like comment and subscribe and of course, I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.